I'm so excited. It's summer. I want to get a tan. Uh, I'm going to swim. Uh, I'm just going to take, I'm going to drink it all in. This is going to be the summer I actually enjoy. And um, if you are thinking about going on vacation this summer, you might want to think about going to China because they got Disneyland there now. <laughs> the new $5.5 billion Disneyland park. This is huge cross cultural moment. Now that Disneyland is in China, children there will have context for the toys they've been making. <laughs> the point is, the park. The park is already a huge success, but apparently a lot of names of Disney properties don't translate well into Chinese, so they had to make some changes, like renaming Dumbo Little Flying Elephant, <laughs> renaming Frozen Enchanted Destiny of Snow, and the Bippity Boppity Boutique was renamed Colorful Magical Fanciful Transformation, <laughs> and of course, Mickey Mouse is now Chairman Mouse. <laughs> and it's not just. Mm -hmm. it's good. And it's not just China that renames things to something more culturally appropriate. I, I identify with Disney's problem here because The Late Show broadcasts everywhere in the world from Prussia to Siam. And <laughs> we really need to update the maps in the writer's room, evidently. <laughs> so right now, I'm going to take you on a trip around the globe and share some of the changes we have to make for international audiences. This is Late Show Cultural Translations. <laughs> Welcome to Late Show Cultural Translations. First up, first example here is uh, we air this show in England, which means if we do any product placement of the candy Reese's Pieces, in England we have to use its British name, Runson's Tidbits. Mmm, <laughs> a stout fist of Runson's will really chuff your gob. <laughs> also, this show airs in uh, Cameroon. Where we have to change our name, The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, to Twilight Shenanigans with Caucasian Suit Buffoon, The One with Glasses. <laughs> Gotta tell us apart. It's hard to tell. I'm the one with the glasses. I'd watch that show. All right. Now, we talk a lot about politics on the show, but uh, foreigners often have different ways of referring to our candidates. For example, when talking about the Democrats, people, uh, to people in Ghana, I'm covering the race between... <laughs> what could possibly... What could possibly go wrong with a stack of cards this high? <laughs> when talking about this race... in Ghana... Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? All right, all right. Thank you for being here for our last show. All right. <laughs> we talk a lot about politics on this show, but foreigners often have different ways of referring to our candidates. For example, when talking about the Democrats to people in Ghana, I'm covering the race between tense merriment corporation woman and rumpled giveaway grandpa. <laughs> there. There you are. Yeah. There you go. Right there. You can have that right there. All right. Now let's see. Okay. Oh, and on in Thailand, the Republican frontrunner Donald Trump is more commonly known as Impossible Promise Tuxedo Goblin. <laughs> mm, mm, there you go. Ah! <laughs> Here's an interesting fact. Uh, whenever the show is broadcast in Russia, if I ever refer to the popular kids pizza arcade. Chuck E. Cheese, we have to change that name to Commandant Vermin's Musical Pizza Hell. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right. Let's see. Uh, even in Canada, our neighbor to the north, there are some changes. For example, thank you so much. For example, I have to change the title of the upcoming comic book movie Suicide Squad to Mopey Avengers Go to Hot Topic. In Mexico, Taco Bell's Quesalupa is instead called Drunk Gringo Meat Slurry Crepe. <laughs> mm. 
I could go for one of those. I could go for a, I could go for a gringo meat slurry crepe right now. And in Romania, our fellow CBS show, Two Broke Girls, translates to impoverished female sex clowns. <laughs> well, that's all the time. Ciao! That's all the time we have for cultural translations, or is it known in Ecuador, borderline racist broken language desk fit. We'll be right back with Ellie Kemper.